Today I'm going to show you how I upcycled and transformed this dress into an illuminated fashion technology creation. This tutorial is going to use an upcycled dress that I found at a vintage store, as well as my DIY wearable tech kit that can be found in the links below. If you don't want to use my kit, you can also use any other LED strands, although the ones in the kit are pretty ideal for wearables if I do say so myself. First of all, the dress. This dress has some pretty material, but it didn't really flatter me, and the backing made it hard for me to wear a bra, so I thought it would be easier to wear if the back had some material filling it in. For starters, I always like to make a sketch of my project to map out how I want the lighting to work. Then, I always do the electronics next. It's a lot easier to troubleshoot the electronics before you start to stitch them into your design. This dress had a semi-sheer front, which is perfect for the LEDs to shine through. I aligned them to follow the pattern of the dress in the front and down the two sides in the skirt area. Next, I grabbed some black semi-sheer material to go on the back of the dress and behind the LEDs so that they wouldn't be directly against my skin. The LEDs that I use in my kits are safe to be worn on your body, but they can be a little bit uncomfortable. Before installing any electronics, I filled in the back piece and took in the dress to make it fit better. It's a lot easier to do this step now than waiting until the LEDs are stitched into the dress. Now for the fun part, the lights. I wanted to have three sections of LEDs, one for the top and two for the bottom, so I needed to cut and create connection points for the wires. I used a few short sections of wire and connected and soldered all the connection points. Once again, I placed everything out to make sure it looked good, and I think this looks pretty cool actually. By the way, in the kit that I'm using, there are two types of controllers that work with the strands. You can connect either one after the fact, so you don't have to commit to one or the other. I tend to lose a lot of extra remotes, so I usually end up using the compact version for my own designs. Now to attach the lights. With the dress flipped inside out, I stitched in each of the lights where I wanted them to be on the dress. This is the most time-consuming part of the project, but I find this to be somewhat relaxing. Okay, the top part is done, looking good, now for the bottom. Now you can see I have the whole dress glowing, so the final stage is the lining. I will sometimes make dresses with a detachable lining so that they can be removed and washed. This step definitely takes up a lot more sewing time, so it really depends on how many times you plan on wearing the dress. The end result is a really fun dress that looks striking whether the lights are on or off. This might be a little bit extra to wear out around the town, but if I was a Vegas performer, this would be perfect. I hope that seeing how easy this is can inspire some of your own upcycling fashion technology projects. 